big, heavily populated cities have one thing in common, the struggle to keep the air clean and the city green. This challenge is especially difficult for cities in a developing country, like China, that's modernizing at cheetah speed. And Beijing has another major obstacle in its greening effort, its location. The Gobi Desert is just 15 miles to the north, making Beijing a dry and dusty urban sprawl, prone to sandstorms. To prevent Beijing and much of northern China from turning into desert, the government began a 73-year-long program to plant 2,800 miles of trees northwest of the city. That makes it the world's largest afforestation project to date. With Beijing facing so many environmental challenges, it's no wonder that when an opportunity like the Olympics comes along, with increased financial resources, the city's going to seize it. Beijing is a environmental work of environmental work. It's mainly to protect the green space. So for Beijing, the green space is not only a green space, but it's a green space. And it's to protect the green space of the whole environment. It's a green space of the whole environment. The Chinese government is using the games as a reason to solve even more of its challenges, including rejuvenating urban rivers, upgrading infrastructure, and planting even more green. In doing this, China also hopes to improve its image to the world. But for citizens of Beijing, it's more than their image that's improving, it's the quality of life. Better transportation and more green space mean an easier escape from the heat and density of this metropolis. In a city of 15 million people and growing, open space is a luxury. So as Beijing expands, it's mostly upward. And to make way for modern apartment buildings that can accommodate more people, some of Beijing's old neighborhoods are being torn down. Along with the old homes go the traditional courtyards where families plant trees and relax. So how is Beijing helping its citizens cope with this transition and with the loss of their courtyards? By steadily creating more public spaces. Beijing is pouring millions of dollars into developing its parks and renovating major historic sites. And it's not just tourist attractions like the Temple of Heaven and the Forbidden City that are getting all the attention. 我想以后你会看到北京会有更呃有非常多的这种嗯绿地，也就是说在不同的小区它会有不同的绿地。而且北京呢，建设部呢要求我们在建设居民小区的话，它有了一定的绿地的占有率。By summer of 2008, Beijing plans to add 800 new parks. That's over four times the existing number, totaling 960 parks sprinkled throughout the capital. And the progress is impressive. 对于北京来说呢，我们现在的呃，就是整个全市的绿化率已经达到了百分之五十点五。那也就是说，我们这几年呢，是我们建了很多的呃呃，像植了很多的树，绿化了很多的这个裸露的土地，也呃，同时呢，我们也建成了三层的这种防护林，去防护呃来自于呃比较远呃远方的沙尘等等。Parks like this one, Ma Dian Park, were built around the city following China's bid for the Olympics in 2001. Nestled between residential apartments on one side and high-rise office buildings on the other, Ma Dian Park serves as a huge backyard for both its nearby residents and workers. This explains why you'll see everyone here, from moms pushing strollers to taxi drivers studying for their exams. The ping pong tables are well used. Sandboxes are teeming with children, and people are finding their own way to exercise while socializing. Spring is here, and this surprisingly warm Friday afternoon attracts office workers squeezing in a walk on their lunch break. But warm weather today means little wind and bad news for these kite flyers. Retired workers. Full-time grandparents are getting the most use from the new parks sprouting up throughout Beijing. This park, we just every two or three weeks come and visit. My family lives in this area. We often come here to visit. My sons come here to visit.
Grandpa Bai has been coming to this park regularly since it was built three years ago. It's hard to tell if it's more fun coming down the slide or catching the toddler at the other end. <laughs> Parks may be becoming the heart of some residential neighborhoods, but they're the lungs of Beijing. And these lungs are also beginning to flourish along major streets and highways. In fact, part of Beijing's promise for the 2008 Games includes planting trees along 255 of its main roads. Of course, the biggest greening project is the Olympic Green. It's six times the size of the 2004 Olympic Park in Athens and three times as big as Central Park in New York. The north end of the Olympic Green will be the 1,700-acre Olympic Forest Park, complete with a man-made lake. Come 2008, Olympic Forest Park will be the largest park in all of Beijing. During the Games, tennis, archery, and hockey events will take place here. After the Games, Designers hope Olympic Forest Park will provide a natural oasis for Beijingers seeking refuge from the city. And it's part of the city's larger plan to move toward bluer skies. But keeping Beijing clean and green isn't just the work of the trees and the gardeners. Everyone needs to be involved in the effort. City officials are making sure that happens. Uh in the beginning of 2007, China launched the China Environmental Awareness Program. The goal is to increase awareness about environmental issues through public service announcements, documentaries, and TV shows, then to convert this public knowledge into attitude and practice. Beijing's hoping that by 2008, its citizens will do more than think twice before throwing trash on the ground. Instead, they'll deposit it in one of the city's new garbage receptacles, or even better, recycle it. 对于奥运来说呢，的确我们呃剩的时间不是很长，我们会尽我们的最大努力呃去呃改善我们的环境来满足奥运的要求。There may be limited time, but progress is already visible, and if these efforts continue as planned, Beijing will be well on its way to cleaner streets and skies.